the whole project started with the purchase of the UH-60A helicopter, much like many other vendors here. We too purchased some helicopters from the Army as they divested them. We went through a process of gaining our restricted category type certificate. And once we did that, uh, we attained that uh, last October. We immediately then began uh, on a supplemental type certificate project with Garmin to put their G5000H flight deck into the aircraft. Uh, we are teamed with an ODA to, to attain our STC. Uh, we were fortunate enough also to have uh, Avalex uh, become a partner as well as FLIR. Uh, and what you see here in this configuration, we are featuring those, those articles right now. What to do with the STC is to eliminate the uh, day VFR only restriction on our type certificate. Uh, we will intend to undergo a flight test program so that we can have the IFR and flight into known icing conditions as the Black Hawk is uh, intimately capable of doing that. Uh, that is part of our, our goals and uh, we're well underway to, to getting there. Obviously we flew this helicopter in with the Garmin G5000 on board. Uh, we think it's unique in the market in that right now it truly offers a civil pedigree uh, which will allow us to fly right now with the Garmin G5000H solution into all civil airspace. Uh, it has all the capabilities that you would expect from the Garmin integrated flight decks. Uh, they have over 16,000 uh, very capable flight decks uh, flying on various aircraft. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, and, and operating side by side with that, is the tactical agility that the Avalex suite offers us. And they have a mission processor that allows us to host things like a, a Harris flight scene moving map, uh, the integration with the FLIR video, and other things like the Talus Scorpion helmet mounted queuing system, where you can take all of those separate systems and integrate them together to have a, a awesome tactical capability. Also with the Avalex cockpit management unit we can integrate any number of tactical mission radios for a host of, of different customers. It's been very very positive. Uh, the, the beauty of, of all of this integration is that with the Garmin cockpit and the Avalex side of the house when you're sitting in front of one of the crew stations you can't tell which is Garmin and which is not Garmin. Uh, all of those displays, the, the FLIR video, the digital moving maps, and all the other pages are controlled in the same fashion as you would control all of the inherent Garmin functionality from the same touchscreen controller. And it's, I think, a very, very uh, well done human factors and man-machine interface. What's next for Global is to finish the, the configuration, continue the software development, finalize the configuration that uh, we are going after for our STC, and uh, maintain a laser focus on achieving that STC. Our company also has a few other uh, projects that are right now on the horizon. To our supplemental type certificate, we are also working on a separate supplemental type certificate project. We are taking the FLIRS 3D HDC and we are trying to attain a standalone supplemental type certificate so that the FLIR 380 HDC can be put on any UH-60A, L, or S-70 helicopter.